Hi, I'm Rebekita Rose, the blogger behind Rebekita Rose's XL Fashion Blog, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is my skincare routine video. This has been requested. Um, I did make this video in Spanish a few days ago, which I put on my Spanish channel. None of this is scripted, so I'm hoping that both videos will be as similar as possible, which is why I am wearing the same outfit as I wore in that video. Now, I'm going to start a little bit by telling you my profile. I am 30 years old and I have acne prone skin. My skin care routine is very simple and I don't usually get breakouts. So here's my story. Let's start with my story. Just like everyone else, when I was a teenager, I started getting spots when I was about 12 or 13. And weirdly enough, as a teenager, I really couldn't care less that I had spots. Seriously. I thought it was just something that was very natural, it was part of growing up, and I figured that by the time I reached my 20s, it would go away. Only it didn't. And by the time I reached my 20s, I was very concerned that... I still had spots because I was grown, so it no longer seemed like something that was a natural part of growing up. It just seemed like this thing that just didn't go away and I didn't want it anymore. Well, I never wanted it in the first place, but I definitely didn't want it at that point, okay? Um, so in my 20s, I went on holiday to Venezuela with my mom, and I saw a dermatologist and I was given two possible solutions to my acne problem. I could either go on the pill or I could try an antibacterial soap. I didn't want to go on the pill, I have never been on the pill and I never want to go on the pill because I see going on the pill as basically messing with your body's hormones and as far as I know my hormones are fine so if it's not broken why fix it? Um, so I went and I did the antibacterial soap thing and it worked miracles, it cleared up my skin, my skin was suddenly flawless apparently according to everybody else and I was combining the antibacterial soap with an exfoliator by a company called Witch, this is way back when I was still living in London and that combination was fantastic. Dermac was the name of the soap and which was the brand of the face exfoliator that I was using and I was doing that every day. Um, although I found out that the Dermac soap was discontinued about two or three years ago. I don't know if it discontinued two or three years ago. That's when I found out about it. Um, I was absolutely heartbroken. At the chemist here in Madrid, they recommended a soap which was very similar to the Dermac. I assume it had the same formula. And I paid 10 euros for a bar of soap that did absolutely nothing for my skin. And I started getting breakouts again and I was not happy about getting breakouts. So last year when one of my cousins came over from Venezuela on holiday, who she's a pharmacist and she has her own chemist, so I told her about the Dermac soap and she brought me over three soaps which are for acne skin and two of these soaps from what I understand are very similar to the Dermac soap. So I told my cousin about the Dermac soaps and she brought me over something very similar because in Venezuela you couldn't get Dermac either. Now, the first soap that I'm using, I can't tell you the name of it because I had been keeping the box and saving it so that I could share the name of it with you guys. And then I moved house and I can't find the box anywhere now. I don't think I threw it away. If I find it, or rather when I find it, I will be updating the information. But for now, I'm just going to show you the soap. It's ugly, so don't freak out. But it does its job. This is it here. I'll put it on this side, rather. This is the soap here. And this stuff is brilliant. It does its job. I don't really get breakouts with this at all um, and the exfoliator which I now use is this one by Clean and Clear which is a blackhead clearing daily scrub. Now I exfoliate my skin every day morning and evening and I keep hearing from all sorts of places that I shouldn't be doing this. This is a bad thing. You should not be exfoliating your skin every day. Thing is it works for me. Um, I don't have any issues with my skin. I am 30 years old and I do not have blemishes. I have very, 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 very slight acne scarring from when I had spots. But I had that way before I started exfoliating. And exfoliating has not made that worse in any way. So, I don't know. It works for me. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much my skin hygiene routine. It's wash with the soap and exfoliate. Not always in that order, but whatever. And when I'm done with cleaning, I moisturise. And the moisturiser that I use is um, this moisturised triple performing face emulsion lotion lotion cream um, by Benefit and I absolutely love this stuff I've had it since forever it never seems to run out um, and I love this stuff now I did something very stupid I decided to incorporate a makeup remover into my per you know 
facial hygiene routine. And I was recommended this stuff by Dr. Brand, which is the Extend Your Youth Dual Fusion Water. Now I started using this when I was kind of PMSing and um, I get breakouts during that time of the month anyway. Very slight, but I do get the odd spot. And when I was using this at the same time of that, I got a very severe breakout. I was getting big, red, painful spots on my face, which I hadn't had since I was a teenager. So, I don't know, I didn't want to say, oh, definitely it was this, because obviously I was PMSing, I'm not working at the moment, so I thought, even though I don't feel stressed, maybe subconsciously I'm stressed and I just don't realise that I'm stressed. Um, so I stopped using it, my skin cleared up. And then I introduced it again when I was not PMSing, still didn't feel stressed. And my skin broke out again. And then I stopped using it, and then I reintroduced it, and every time it was the same. I introduce it, I break out, I take it out, my skin calms down, and the breakouts stop. So this does not agree with me. That said, um, I have used this on other people, and as far as I know, they haven't had any breakouts. Also, from what I understand, Dr. Brand products are all about extending youth. So it's making, you know, it's supposed to, they do things that are supposed to make you look younger for longer. From what I understand, if I'm wrong, correct me. But I'm pretty sure that's what they, that's what this is all, this company and the, well, as far as I know, Dr. Brand is actually a bit of a celebrity figure. Um, but that's what they're about. Now, I'm 30 years old, like I said at the beginning, I think. Um, I don't look 30, so... But it's got nothing to do with this, just for the record. With me, it's completely genetics. I mean, I have cousins who are like 40 and they look 20. And nobody ever asks me, when are you going to get married? When are you going to have children? People ask me, what are you studying? When are you going to graduate from university? Oh, and I graduated way back in 2008. So, you know, apparently I sound really young as well. I don't know, but I don't do anything to try and appear younger. It's, this is just, this runs in the family. Um, so anyway... I'm getting sidetracked. Um, the other two soaps that my cousin brought over were um, this, which is called Cetaphil. This, which is called Cetaphil. Um, I've seen other YouTubers talk about this um, this line of acne skin product. I think you, I think you would say. Um, and so, so far, everyone seems to have good things to say about um, this. And the other thing that she brought, which I'm I'm actually really excited to see if this is going to work on me, is this, which is a aloe vera soap. It's completely natural, made in Venezuela, as you can see at the bottom there. Um, and it's supposed to clean the face, clear up spots. <clears throat> Sorry, I think I'm catching, I think I'm coming down with a cold. Um, clear up spots, stains, scars, dandruff as well. So I suppose this is kind of like a shampoo soap. Um... So yeah, I'm looking forward, because natural things like this don't usually work on me. At one point I was taking aloe vera juice, like the organic stuff, but I'm not going to go into that right now, because I didn't go into it in my Spanish video. In fact, I didn't mention it at all. I had to then put it in as an annotation afterwards. But um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this works on me. And that is pretty much all I have to say. My skincare routine is very simple. I soap... I exfoliate and then I moisturize and I pretty much go. I don't always wear makeup. I don't wear a lot of foundation. Um, at most, I'll wear like a, a tinted moisturizer type product, which I'm, again, I'm not going to go into that right now because I didn't mention any of this in my Spanish video. Um, so I'm not going to get into my makeup routine. But, um, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to my skin routine. I really don't know what else to tell you guys. I don't do anything strange to my skin. They say that when you reach 30, when you reach 30, you're supposed to start doing crazy things and you're supposed to go places and get facials and well, you're supposed to always get facials, always really, aren't you? But you're supposed to sort of like change it up when you're 30 and whatever. I haven't really changed anything up, and so far. It's what it's still working for me. But um, yeah, once this soap runs out, which is gonna be in a gazillion billion years because I take really good care of my soaps make sure that they're dry and all the rest of it so they don't you know get wasted too quickly um when this runs out I will definitely be reviewing these two things um I feel a bit sad that I can't do a video where I can where I've tried all these three soaps and I can compare them but say lovey you know um so yeah that's pretty much it from me if you have any comments or suggestions or anything like that, constructive criticism is very welcome. And 
yeah, until next time, that's it from me.